So, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today here in Peace Palace is a very important moment and uh, a complete victory of justice and a complete victory of Ukraine, uh, now in the form of the order of the International Court of Justice uh, concerning the imposition of uh, provisional measures, uh, which we asked the court to impose uh, due to the uh, large-scale uh, military, opera military operations invasion of the Russian Federation to Ukraine, which started on the 24th of February, and which was uh, officially, as the Russian representatives say, uh, caused by, uh, I quote, genocide uh, in Donetsk and Lugansk oblasts uh, in Ukraine, uh, end of quotation. Uh, so today the court uh, made its order, and we are very grateful to the world court uh, for the urgency and uh, for the understanding of the situation in which our state, our country is now. And today's order uh, contains two very important provisional measures which Russia must uh, comply with. Uh, Russia, first of all, shall uh, suspend, immediately suspend, all the military operations uh, in the territory of Ukraine, which started on the 24th uh, of February, and also the Russian Federation shall ensure that uh, any organization, any person uh, which act uh, and who acts um, under the control uh, of the Russian Federation shall take no further steps in aggravating the situation and in uh, continuation of the military operations. So, in, in very uh, common words and very easy words. The court uh, told Russia that Russia must immediately stop, cease, suspend the military operations uh, in Ukraine, which started on the 24th of February. So this is a complete victory for us, for Ukraine, on this stage of proceedings. Yes, and I also would like to add that uh, this victory uh, is the victory of the international law and the international or, or law order. And this is the victory for each and every Ukrainian who is now suffering from the Russian aggression. And of course, it is a huge victory for our brave soldiers who are now uh, trying to uh, push Russia back from our territory. And of course, this is the victory in the memory of each and every Ukrainians who died during this aggression. We, we are very grateful for the court for such a behavior and for such a strong decision.